Welcome back. I wanted to do a quick, very quick introduction to how to use the duplier functions, left join and right join, and there's other joins like inner join and full join, and you can look those up as you need them. But today I'm just going to show you a quick and dirty left and right joins just so you can have the idea for a future reference. So left data, I labeled it as left data and right data. I have it here already. I'm going to leave this in the description so you can just copy and paste it. I'm not going to put the rest of the code in there, but you can copy paste this so you can duplicate the data. What I have is a left data frame that has six or seven customer IDs and has seven directions associated with it. So the features or the column names or the header, if that's what you're used to calling it, will have one column called cust ID and the next column called area. In my right data, and I'm just labeling these left and right just so that we can not lose track of which one's which, um, that's also a data frame or a spreadsheet looking thing if you're not used to data frames yet. It has a customer ID column and a risk column. But in the customer ID column, we have customers two, four, and six only. And then the corresponding values would be high, high, and low. If you don't know, um, what rep means, it means repeat, repeat high two times, repeat low one time, and it knows how to put them there. Let's just show you the data frames, and that'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So the left-hand side data frame looks like this, customer ID one through seven, and a bunch of corresponding areas. And the right-hand side data looks like this, customer ID and risk, high, high, low. So that's all that is, that's all that creates. Once we create those, we wanna combine them together somehow. Let's do what we're going to do is a left join first, and we simply we would simply type in left underscore join, except we didn't load the library yet. So let's load the library that we're going to use called Deplyr, D-P-L-Y-R. And once you run that, you should have no problems using those functions. If you don't have Deplyr installed, you can install it by clicking on Packages, Install, and just start typing in dplyr and make sure install dependencies is there and click on install. Simple as that. Now let's do a left join real quick. So left underscore join, it's so simple. And then you want to put in your x and your y which is your, the x stands for basically the left hand spreadsheet and y is the right hand spreadsheet. Imagine you had two screens on your computer, left and right, and you want to join them in that fashion. Everything in the left I want to keep, but join it with things that are on the right. So left join, let's do the left data goes in the left hand side of the left join function. And then the right data is on the right hand side. Now this won't work as is because if I actually run that, it's gonna say error by required because the data sources have no common variables. I can fix this in two ways. The first way is not the preferred way, but I'll show you anyways. So instead of customer ID, what if we actually just name this cust ID and we know, hey, customer ID is the same as customer ID. So let's run that real quick. So I re-ran that and I do left join again. And it works and it shows us how the join works. So on the left hand side, which was this data, I have customers one through seven and all these different corresponding areas. And of course, I have seven here as well. As you can see, the risk area, um, some of them are blank. So they have NAs and that's because the right hand side did not have a corresponding value for it. But let's pretend that we never change this customer ID because you know what? We got this data from the source and we can't change what the source data is. And we shouldn't because it's we're relying on it uh, from somewhere else in the organization. But we know through our business rules, through our logic, that customer ID and our data descriptions, that our customer ID is in fact the same as cust ID. So since we know that, but the computer doesn't, we have to explicitly tell it that. So again, if I run this and this, with the new customer ID feature in there, and then I run the left join, you are gonna get that same error. So what, that, what does that mean? Let's just put a comma and put the by, and we'll say equals. And what this is gonna equal is a vector. I have two data frames, left data and right data. On the left-hand side, we're gonna say cust ID is equal to, on the right-hand side, customer ID, just like so. Now when I run that, it runs, well, unexpected equal. Ah, because it's a, like I said, it's a vector of data here. So there we go. What did I do wrong? Oh, cust ID is missing. I, I do this every time, capital D, it's lowercase d. 
There we go. And we're back in business. So that, there it is. It's left-hand join. And it works because we explicitly said, hey, tie these together by these criteria. Let's do a right-hand join now. So right join, and we'll put in the left data and the right data again. And this time we're doing a... We also have to do the by because same scenario. Cust ID equals customer ID. You get used to this pretty quick. And put that in quotes, and we should be good to go. So the right hand join, it only shows us what's on the right hand side, two, four, and six. And we have corresponding high, high, and low. So let's just say number two actually didn't exist in the top one. So let's just get rid of two. And we'll get rid of the corresponding data for two, just to be clear. So now we don't have two in the left data. Let's run this again. I'm going to do the left join. And you can see when I do the left join, we have one, three, four, five, and six. But we still have the NA problems. And now let's do the right join, show you a little slight difference. So now we have a right join that did contain two. And it does have an NA because two does not exist in the first one. Because you can also do things like inner join. And again, it tells you exactly how to do that. We can do left data, right data, by equals a column of values or a vector of values, customer ID, lowercase d equals customer ID. By the way, I never got an A in my naming conventions ever. So the inner join does not allow for um, the NAs because it uh, removes them on both sides if they don't exist on both sides. So it's an overlapping, two circles overlapping. It's the stuff only in the middle. Maybe I'll have a diagram for you. So that's it. That's how you do your left and your right join. And I showed you the inner join as well. I hope that this helps you in your data journey. Please do me a favor and subscribe. Hit the little bell down below. Help me grow this channel. It is very new. I am migrating from one channel to another, and I'm making this channel very, very R-specific. It will have the cradle to grave, everything you need to know about R from the ground up, and then it'll have tips and tricks. And then I'm going to throw in things such as everyday use of R for the business casual user. So how to manipulate data, how to automate reports, but things that are not really data science-y, but they're very useful in your business environment. So stay tuned, subscribe to find out when I publish these, and I will see you on the next one.